Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic 1. Or Sonic EXE in my hand apparently. Hope you're doing well out there. Once again we are joined by Wolfhead or Rikana. Yo -ha. As we head into the most hated level apparently. Is it going to be as hated with a rewind button? Let's find out. Gather killers! Watch the, uh, the video I showed you about that. About what? Uh, the Gattaca one. 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 The Gattaca Fucking counter killers! Oh, these uh, kind of platforms. I remember seeing these in Sonic Mania. Yeah, I see no shame in using the <laughs> rewind button here. Yeah. Fuck. No, I can see why people hate this pretty much instantly. It is not skill here. This is pure luck. Those fucking pigs. I remember those bats. Within the next game, but after that, but no, mainly. Still. Oh no, not these things! You know how long it took me to beat Sonic Forces because of those spinning platforms? Yes, yeah, Sonic, Sonic Forces. Sonic three, this mechanic. Huh? How long did you beat Sonic Forces three? These things. Still, I like the overall aesthetic of this level. I'm gonna say that at least. Yeah. Those fucking flamethrowers are bullshit. Yep. Like, holy shit. Oh, yeah. And you're supposed to have time to respond to that?
Yeah, it's a good thing this game has an E rating because otherwise I can see this stage being called Fuck You. This is the Fuck You stage. Like, there is no other way to describe this. Wait a minute, I actually want this. Is probably no way. Huh? This is probably no way. Do you even have a I'll try going up instead. Cat killers? Get me out of this level! Get me out! Oh, you're not done yet. Is this final oh, boss? Alright. I'm actually just going to create a save spot here, but I will not be using Rewind at all during the final fight. Have fun. This fight is actually, this fight is actually pretty easy, but still, have fun. Because it's kind of... Oh wait, oh. Alright, this was the scrapped one, that's right. They just basically remade Labyrinth Zone because they were in a rush. Yeah, even Sonic 1 was rushed. Level select code when we finish this. There's something I actually figured out with Starlight. There's something I figured out with Starlight Zone watching, uh, watching some complicated Yeah, after we complete this up. Watch you! Fine, wait. There's no bubble up that way. Oh, you can at least show up before oh, I do that. Okay. Drop. I will not lose here because the game refuses to let me drop. Thank you. And I could show off why he, him drowning, but, um... Oh, for fuck's sakes. Fuck you. Okay. 
Also, again, all of these enemies actually have names. Uh, those little orb creatures are known as Orbanauts. Orbots, you say? I know an Orbot. Orbanauts. Oh no! It denied me the bubble! <laughs> Give me a bubble! There you go, you fell to drown. Yep, it's all of us. It's all of us. Hey, man. Really? Yeah, this whole part of the game can eat a dick. And again, that was with the rewind feature. I can just imagine how ball bustingly frustrating that would be normally. Not even tough, just frustrating as hell. Up until this part, it was actually pretty fair with its difficulty. It was challenging, but not bullshit. This one just has enemies in every blind spot. Which with the. Which the thing with, um, the thing with this is this in the time that these games were originally released, this was kind of that era of gaming where if you wanted to continue, you had to, if you wanted to continue this, you had to move the TV and the console back. I mean, yeah. you could turn the TV off, sure, but you at least need the console back. Yeah, that's why I've been creating safe states. If he was going at this originally, he'd be starting from Green Hill every single time we booted this up. Give me a bubble! Nope, no bubble. So here we go. Okay, let's see if I have enough time this time. Yeah, I should have enough time to get to the bubble this time as long as you know, registers my inputs. And you know, actually spawns it. There we go. Yeah, the entirety of the game slowed down there, by the way. That's why the music was off. It does not like the water. It does not like the water. Nope. And again, just... Everything in blind spots. Final 
yeah, you can tell that this area was just completely rushed. And now we're in the final zone. So like I said, I'll use a save state, but I will not be using reverse at all. And this was a trend for a long time when it came to games like this. They gave you no rings here. None. You had to survive. And holding true to my word, I will not be using a save state. Oh, well, rewind. Wow, they are unforgiving with how much time you actually have to do that. One. Of course, I fought this boss in Sonic Mania where it's actually more of a challenge. But at the same time, not a challenge because you can go Super Sonic because they just allow you to have rings up until now. They added more to it, so if you didn't have Super Sonic and just went in with, well, if you didn't, yeah, if you didn't have Super Sonic and went in with no rings, it's actually a lot harder. But, you can't do this, you can't do this legitimately, uh, and have rings. Nope. Because they don't get There is a code for debug. In debug mode, you can do whatever code you want, but we're not using that yet. Nope. this one had I know the level select. I don't remember where you are. One. I know two, two three. Three. One. Two. Three. Check. One. Two. Three. Sound cut out there for a second. Oh shit. There's a rhythm to it, but I keep losing that rhythm. Check. 
shit. Eh, it worked out. That didn't, though. Yeah, that was a bad run anyway, so that's fine. So I guess I can give some of my final thoughts as we're doing this. For Sonic's first venture out into the world, this isn't bad. Like, everything about it is pretty solid, if a little, uh, problematic at times. Mostly Scrap Brain, though. The music, of course, is outstanding. Level design is great. Controls, though lacking right now, and that's because of newer iterations. It works for what it is. It's a one-button playstyle, which, uh... There's another game that came out recently that tried to utilize a one-button playstyle, which failed. But it failed in this one button playstyle because they forgot to put that that one button should be jump. If you're gonna have a one button playstyle, you better have it be for jumping in a platformer. Story. Is there really anything to talk about when it comes to the story? No, it's basically just Eggman back down to stop. Evil Teddy Roosevelt. And a blue blur. And again, this was released after the Sega Genesis. It was actually not a title release of it, but it was bundled in with it afterwards. Well, relatively cheap, too. So, overall, this game actually holds up very well to this day. It's not the most amazing, but it's still fun. I'm still having a great time with it. Especially on anything that can give you kind of a fast-forward button. It's fantastic! So, there was a reason I said there was more than one. There was more than the, the standard You can actually attack Eggman here. You could also not attack him here. Now, what changes between getting the Chaos Emeralds and not, this one has been spoiled for me. At the end here, more flowers just blossom. That's all that's different. It's lit, but there's not just that. So overall, I can only give this game an 8 out of 10. It was a great start for Blue Blur. I'm a little disappointed about the Bain switch after Green Hill Zone with Marble Zone, but at the same time, now that I'm older and understand all the mechanics and such, and had the patience, plus the power to play God, this game is great. It's not the best Sonic anymore, not by a long shot, but it's a good start. There's minor, almost no issues as long as you're not looking for them. It runs beautifully, except for Water Island, uh, Water. Soundtrack's great. Overall experience is fantastic. There's plenty of replayability here if you're trying to go for a perfect run. There's also all the different ways you can get go once you get really good. So yeah, this game earns an 8 out of 10. Would you agree with that, Rakana? Yeah. Um, there's, uh, there's pretty much a big reason as to why I never exactly got this game. Uh, got this game. I can go this even at my age, so, yeah. Now, I might end up going back to this game just to try for a perfect run later. 
I didn't realize you could do that. <laughs> that is that is one of the reasons why I kind of like this. Uh, I kind of like that they show their gameplay here because they show you things you don't think about. Them. There's one last tiny thing we want to show off. Aside this, if you don't get the Chaos Emeralds at the end here, he will just basically Taunt throw them back and forth between his hands. However, if you do get all the Chaos Emeralds, what changes here is he's jumping on the end, the uh, the word end. Yes, but technically we still foiled his plan because he can't get all six Chaos Emeralds, so he failed. Well, yes, but he still has the other Chaos Emeralds, and as we've been told time and time again in future releases, Chaos Emeralds hold limitless power. Yes, but we already have two of them, and he can't get the unlimited power. Okay, so now we just need the level select code. Do you remember what that is, or do you need me to tell you? So, we'll try to figure this out by the time we start Sonic 2. So I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough. If you have, please like and subscribe. You know, I hate to do this, which is why I save it for the end of runs. And I'll catch you all in another episode. Have a good one. See you later.